Good morning, this is Melissa with Origins of Peace. I hope your morning is off to a terrific start. So look, I am your creative peace coach coming to you with your morning message for daily intention setting. So this morning we are talking about the value of resourcefulness. So I just quickly wanted to give you a few tips and just a little inspiration on how you can go about your day being more inspirational. So as always, we will start with our morning prayer. And the prayer simply says, Dear Lord, thank you for this day. I am grateful for the talents and skills that you have given me to be resourceful. Today, I am determined to keep a positive attitude, a clear mind, and a progressive spirit in all that I do. In Ephesians chapter 4, verses 23 and 24, it instructs me to be constantly renewed in the spirit of my mind and to put on the new nature created in God's image in true righteousness and holiness. By keeping your words close to my heart and at the forefront of my mind, I can renew my thoughts and spirit daily and stay connected to you. You have given me a spirit of righteousness and holiness and I will not sway away from this. I ask you to lead me and to guide me in the way that you would have me to go. In Jesus' name, I pray this prayer. Amen. All right. I hope that prayer blesses you today. And I hope it helps you just to um, lead with integrity and to pull out all the skills, all the talents, all the things that God has blessed you with in order to make your day as peaceful and productive as possible. So with that, let's go ahead and dive into the definition of resourcefulness and how you can incorporate that. Now, you will see me moving, as I always like to give the disclaimer, moving between screens because for whatever reason, I'm still experiencing some technical difficulties with my laptop. So I am recording on my phone. I have my notes on my laptop and on two different screens. So if you see my eyes wandering around, it is me just getting all the information for you. So this morning's message comes from a mix of things. It comes from two different blog posts um, from our past um, um, issues. So they are two of our most popular. And um, I just wanted to combine the messages to give you a full and in-depth look into resourcefulness today and how you can utilize that, right? All right, so we've got our prayer um, done as our foundation and the way to get started. So now I will move into what the definition of resourcefulness is. So resourcefulness is having the ability to find quick and clever ways to overcome difficulties, meaning you are using what you have rather than what you don't have to succeed and to scale, almost like working smarter, not harder. So you know that thing that you used to do about 10 or so years ago that brought you so much joy? Um, it could have been a hobby. It could have been an activity. It could have been a responsibility that you had around the house that you were the best at. And you just kind of put that over to the side as you progressed and matured in your career. And you kind of got too um, uh, promoted too much to keep dabbling in what you used to have. But those are um, skill sets that God has given you, and they come in handy every now and then. Um, sometimes you'll have to pull them out, you know, out the closet, out the bag, out the back of your mind, and bring them to the forefront to make things happen. And when you do that, that's called being resourceful. That's called uh, using what you got to get where you need to get, right? And we all need to be resourceful in today's climate both um, professionally and personally in order to excel and um, keep elevating to our full potential until the next level. So now that you know what the definition of um, resourcefulness is, how can you use it today? How can you use it in the workplace to go forward? So um, ways that I like to incorporate um, resourcefulness, if it's you know, something that um, doesn't quite fall in line, uh, let's just say it doesn't fall within the scope of something that I'm working on, um, you know, or if there's like a, a, a different skill set that's required in order to complete a task, if I have it, 
then I like to pull it out and um, do that thing. So um, I'll just give you an example. <laughs> so I love to write. I'm not a writer. I've never been... Um, what can I say? I've never been um, labeled as a journalist or a writer. But when I was in school, I used to get the highest marks in my class for creative writing. I'm a very good creative writing, which is why I do have a book coming out um, in August um, that is very creative. But um, I like to utilize that skill in order to make my blog post and my written communications flow better and make them intriguing to the audience that I am speaking to. So um, even though I'm not a writer, have never been held, have never held the title of journalist, um, I love the way that I write. And um, just from the feedback that I've received, others do too. So I don't mind pulling out that hat every now and then in order to help people out on different situations and to collaborate with others because it's something that I enjoy doing, first of all, and that I've received feedback on, that's a great talent that I have. So that's just an example on how you can incorporate resourcefulness today. Now in the same token, we are talking about self-care as well. Now I know we're talking about resourcefulness and pulling all the things out that you have and all the abilities and all of that, but your self-care tip of the day is to take rest when you need it. Be sure to take some rest when you need it. Now, I had an event over the weekend, um, and it was my first time really uh, setting up. Um, like I had a, a table, a vending table at an event. First time I'd done this in quite some time. And I'm going to tell you, this was the event was on Sunday. So I'm going to tell you, Monday... I was delirious. I was tired. <laughs> I'm still a little bit tired. But yesterday I was so sluggish, so sluggish. And I just needed to take the day off. I felt like um, I had overdid it just a bit. And, um, you know, I gave myself permission to unwind, to unplug, and just to um, get some rest just rejuvenate myself. So your self-care tip of the day is to take the rest whenever you need it. Now, with that, I have a few questions to ask you. I shared with you that I was feeling quite tired and exhausted yesterday. So the questions that I asked myself um, on yesterday were, uh, where is my peace level? I also asked myself if I was capable of experiencing more peace. Um, I had to check in and ask myself how was I doing and what was on my mind. Um, also, um, you know, if I was being kind to myself and if um, the way that I was speaking was it inspiring others, did it inspire joy in myself, like what was really going on with me. And those are just some questions that I asked to kind of check in and see, you know, where, what I needed to do. So, um, you know, just by those prompts, those few little prompts and asking myself, I made a determination that I needed to take some time to rest because as the quote from Nayara Wahid, I hope I pronounced that right, says, it says, all the women in me are tired. All the women in me are tired. And that comes from a place, um, personally, I'll speak and say that comes from a place of um, being an overachiever. Um, you know, having my hands in so many different things, I'm always trying to strategize and stay a step ahead um, in order to bring in new business and um, attract new clients and to keep them engaged in my company. So all of those things can really be exhausting at times. And um, I can honestly say all the women in me are tired. <laughs> so... If you find yourself in that situation, ask yourself, what is my current level of peace? Am I capable of experiencing more? How am I doing? What's on my mind? Are my thoughts bringing me joy? And do my words inspire others? Okay, ask yourself that. That's a simple, quick check-in so that you'll know how you're doing. 
and what adjustments need to be made. Now, I'll tell you, um, I just admitted that I have been tired um, since my event over the weekend, but um, my computer was tired yesterday too because I did record um, a daily intention setting video for Monday morning. It was about 20 minutes long, so I was a bit uh, long-winded. But let me tell you, that thing is still trying to upload to YouTube, and it has been a lot of hours, a lot of hours. So not only was I tired, but my computer system, you know, was tired too. The internet was sluggish too. So I'm gonna check it um, as I begin to upload this video and see where we are and see if I just need to scrap it for the day. Now, um, one thing that I have been doing is recording a separate video in the afternoons for the tea lounge, the time, energy, and attention lounge. But I wanna go ahead and do that now uh, because Tuesdays are hard truth Tuesdays. And that's when I ask you to take a firm, clear, focused look at yourself, at your life, at your business, at your career path and see what needs to change. Um, if you are in a place of change and transition and if you're ready to pivot, I help you um, by um, just putting out a few quotes, a few thoughts to help you just really tap into your state of mind and what changes need to be made. So. My hard truth question for you today is, what is it that has you feeling stuck? And you might um, understand that that question comes up a lot around here at Origins of Peace because most of my clients are dealing with some type of issue that they don't know how to move forward with. And because of that, they end up procrastinating and taking longer to reach the finish line. So my question to you for Hard Truth Tuesday is, what is it that has you feeling stuck, right? So when you ask yourself that question, then I want you to ask yourself why, and then answer that question. And keep asking why until you get down to the very bare bones of why it is that whatever has you feeling stuck, okay? All right, so that is my daily intention setting and the tea lounge for today. I'm going to attempt to upload this video to YouTube. So please be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Stay connected with Origins of Peace. Um, I'll be working, uh, hopefully, to get this website completed today, as well as some other things that I have on my to-do list. So I hope y'all have a fabulous day. And please let me know if Origins of Peace could be of service to you. I offer coaching and consulting services. I also offer um, private teaching and facilitation instruction as well. So please reach out to me and let me know exactly how I can serve you best. I hope you have a fantastic day on purpose. Best always. Peace.